Bueno, vamos. Well, hello. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. How are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, Adriana, Tatiana, and Mayen. All right, glad to see you here today. Today is our final class, right? Hoy es el último día de clase. So, we will just review some things and maybe do some clock. Algunas preguntas sobre la... La hora, right? A ver si se recordan un poco. Right, so be ready for the time. We'll begin here in about one minute. Que entre los demás. And we will begin at one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay? So be ready. And we're going to <clears throat> also look at the, um, the exam. Okay? El examen final. Maybe review some things on it in case there is any questions let me see okay hello good afternoon hi welcome welcome We'll be in here in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, let me close this. All right. Okay, everyone, how are you today? Everything good? Remember that today is our last day. And I have here some, um, some things that we were talking about yesterday, right? Yesterday, we were doing some speaking activities. But today, we are going to Continue. Can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. great. <clears throat> excellent. Excellent. Now, can you read the topic, please, Ricardo? Okay. Review exam question. Speaking activities. What time is it? What time is it? Very good. So, vamos a ver... Como les dije ayer, ¿vale? que estamos viendo algunos temas de lo que ya hemos visto y también relacionado con el examen final. The final exam also. And we will do some speaking activities. And eh, hubo una sugerencia ahí de, sobre el tiempo, right? Hablar sobre cómo hablar el tiempo in English terms. <clears throat> Now I have that today. Remember, this is class number 16. And today is our final day. Hoy sería el último día de clase. Okay? Para este módulo. Right? And I hope everyone did their part. Espero aquellos que están escuchando o no han entrado a las clases, pero quizás lo pueden ver la grabación. Eh, mandé los nombres de aquellos que aún no habían completado con el requerimiento o el requisito establecido por Insafor. Right? Entonces, nomás les quiero decir que hice todo lo posible para que trataran de completarlo, right? Ya cada quien está a su propia disposición. Y felicito a aquellos que sí lo hicieron y que siguen cumpliendo con los requisitos para que así no tengan ninguna dificultad con el proceso de las becas para el siguiente módulo. ¿Ok? So, I think I did... All I could for everyone, right? En algún momento u otro, si tuvieron alguna duda, espero les haya solventado todo lo necesario para cada uno y una de ustedes. Now, um, what is today's date, Adriana? 
Today's day is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Very good. Ricardo. Today, day is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Excellent. Good job, Tatiana. Today is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Who wants to go next? Quien quiere hacer la fecha? Carolina. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome. Today day is Tuesday, August uh, 17, 2021. Very good, excellent, excellent, well done. Hello, Tammy. Hi, teacher, good afternoon. Hi, welcome. Today day is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Very good, excellent. Let me see, Ingrid. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome, Ingrid. To stay August 70, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Anyone else? Además. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. And let's look at some of this, right? Let's look at some of this. Well, let's go to the exam. Vamos a salirnos de aquí. Let's go to the platform. Okay, this is the final exam. We had the listening part at the beginning. Did anyone have any difficulties? Alguien tuvo dificultades con la listening part, la primera sección del exam, final exam. Did anyone have a, have any difficulty with this? No? No, right, este probably fue la más fácil, right? Porque you have to do with listen y regresarse al audio, regresarse, right, back and forth. But what about the next one? Let's look at the, the next part. This was a uh, read, read the answers, right? <clears throat> aquí era quizás a little bit for some. They were like, uh, teacher, que pongo aquí or whatever. Let's do this. Vamos a hacer el diálogo. Ricardo, can you begin, please? Okay. What's, What's your name? What's? What's your name? Okay. Um, Car Carolina? My name is Tim. Okay, Ricardo. Are your parents in Peru? No, they're not in Peru. They're in Canada. Very good. So we have here what will go here, right? Que iba a ir aquí. Y después, no, they're not, they're not in Peru. No, no están en Peru. They're in Canada. Están en Canadá. And then you have a blank here. No. They're not from England. They're from Australia. What, what do you think would be? What do you think the the answer would be? Aquí. Are your parents from England? Mm, okay. Así se dice. ¿Cómo se dice esto? Uh, would you would say are they? from England. England. England, right? England. Thank you, teacher. Are they, so you will put, are they from England, right? England. Are they from England? England. Right? ¿Y qué ponemos al final? Aquí poníamos question mark, right? Question mark. Are they from England? Are they from England? Son ellos de Inglaterra, right? England, está en London, right? Cuando uno dice Londres, pues está hablando prácticamente de Inglaterra, right? England, England. Okay, and then we're from New York. What do you think will go here? 
Where are you from? Where, okay. Where are you from, right? De donde eres? Where are you from, right? Where are you from? And then we put a question mark. Where are you from? We're from England. We're from England, right? Pero que dice aquí? No dice England. ¿Qué dice ahí? It's plural. We're. Okay, we're from? New York. Very good. We're from New York. Very good. Excellent. It's plural. That is correct. Let me see. Um, what about here? I think she's 22. ¿Qué está? Si alguien dice, yo pienso que tiene 22. What do you think? De, primero, oh. ajá, primero tenemos que ver a quién nos estamos refiriendo. Yes. She. She, right? Entonces yes. la pregunta tiene que incluir el, el she, right? So, ¿cómo decimos en tercera persona cuando le pedimos la edad a alguien? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a Ricardo, la edad de, digamos, de Tatiana, o Carolina, o Adriana, how would I ask? ¿Cómo le, cómo le dijera yo la pregunta? How would I ask? How old is Carolina? Mm, pero sin saber el nombre. How old is she? How old is she? Very good. How old? How old is she? And then we put a question mark. How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? Ah, yo pienso que ella tiene 22. <clears throat> I think she's 22. What about here? No, my first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. <clears throat> Someone? Is, is your first language in Spanish? Okay, just give me one second, please. Un segundo. Okay, we're back here. What do you think goes here? Dice, no, mi primer lenguaje no es español, es portugués. So what do you think the question is? Remember, we're asking questions. Is... Yo, teacher. Okay, tell me. Is your first language Spanish? Very good. Very good. Is your first language Spanish? Y recuerden que cada vez que escribimos eh, una lengua en, en inglés siempre es capital letter. Siempre lleva una yes. letra mayúscula, ¿ok? Capital letter. Is your first language Spanish? No. My first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. Very good, Tammy. Next one. What do you think of here? Yes. I have a question. I can see is is Spanish your first language? Is Spanish your first language? Yes, you can say it that way. Awesome. Okay. You can say it that way. Solo que al ponerla así no me la ponía como que. Yes, but it, you can also say it, okay? Por ejemplo, okay. Eh, eh, ¿es español su primer idioma? Right? ¿O es yes. su primer idioma español? Las dos están correctas. Teacher, okay. de hecho, en esa, en esa perdí bastante tiempo porque no podía formularla bien. No sé si solo a mí me pasó. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of them, right? But aquí es, is your first language Spanish or. 
if if you would have wrote it the other way, it's still cuando uno lo dice es correcto también, Ricardo. All right. Okay. So you can use it both ways, but la plataforma no más acepta esta forma. All right. All right. So it's but it is correct. It's correct. Yes. yes, sir. Okay. Yes, it is. And thank you. What well, about number five? He says, yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. Are you Japanese? Japanese? You are Japanese. Okay. Are you? Right? <clears throat> pregunta. Are you Japanese? Right? Japanese. Are you Japanese? Okay. And then we put the question mark. Right? Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Those would be it. Are you Japanese? Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. Okay. Now, let's do the next one. This were con adjetivos. All right. Esta estaba algo facilita, quizás divertida. What do you think the first one is, Carolina? Can you read it, please? Larry isn't serious. Is funny okay very good right larry isn't serious right larry no es serio he's funny right funny. Uh, persona que siempre lo hace reír right heavy significa pesado right and pretty um como se acuerda que yo le dije que pretty casi no va con con el hombre right como se le dice al hombre cuando se ve eh, cuando he looks En vez de pretty, como la mujer bonita. Handsome. Handsome, handsome right? Se utiliza handsome como guapo, right? Let me see. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Carolina. Um, number two. What about Tatiana? Jean? Jean is a really good student. She's very smart. Very good, right? really good student, right? Aquí estamos hablando de buen estudiante. She's very smart. ¿Qué significa smart? Inteligente, right? Intelligent. Intelligent. And you have friendly, amigable, and thin. ¿Qué significaba thin? Delgado. Delgado. Very good, right? Delgado. Very good. What about number three? My teacher is in short. She's si no es baja, she's Tall, yeah, I need tall. tall, right? Tall is alta. Heavy, pesada, and pretty, right? But we're talking about estatura here. Okay. Now, what about number four, Adriana? My brother is good looking. He's handsome. Yes, yes, very good, right? Handsome. He's handsome, right? So, good looking, también va relacionado con guapo, right? Como se mire, ah, la persona, right? It's like, yeah, right? And then you say, oh, yeah, está guapo, yeah. right? But that is for men, right? And for women, it's pretty or beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Hay otra palabra que se llama gorgeous. Eh, you can use those adjectives, right? Como decir hermosa. Let me see. Oh, that was easy. That was adjectives. What about here? Choose the correct answer to the question. And you have a question here. Is this Sue's scarf? And what was scarf? Get a scarf. Equipment? Bufanda. Yes. Bufanda, right? Thank you. So is this Sue's scarf? Which one will be? the correct way form to to answer the question maybe Second there's answers. okay this one yes all right all right so we say no it's not hers it's mine no no es de ella es mía right it's mine and this is dealing with the possessives. Aquí era relacionado con los posesivos. Possessive pronouns. Let me see. Whose boots are these? 
whose boots are these? Let me see. Uh, voy a seleccionar a uh, Danubia. Whose boots are these? ¿De qué son estas botas? Uh, mm, maybe they're Scottish. Very good. Ah, quizás son de Katy, dice, right? Right, very good. Vamos a ver. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Maybe they're catties. Yes. Whose boots are these? Very good. Number three, media. Are these Lisa's gloves? Son estos los guantes de Lisa? Mm, yes, they're hers. Okay, very good. Yes, sí, son de ella. They're hers. Very good. Okay. Um, Tammy. Yes, it okay. is. Whose hat is this? ¿De quién es este sombrero? No, this not here. Hmm? He, no, no. Me escucha bien. Sí. ¿De quién es este sombrero? Maybe there is Katy. Mm. No. Ok, porque aquí es plural. Maybe there they are, right? Es que estamos hablando de uno. No, 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 no. Oh, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Hola. Yes. ¿Me escucho todavía? Yes. yes, I can hear you. Será Nodis, Nod, Hirsch, Is, Nid, Nai. Ok. What do you no. think? Right, what do you think? Right? Estamos hablando de ella? Estamos hablando de ella. Okay. Y think y I think no. No estamos hablando de un sombrero. Ajá. Uh -huh. Permítanme. Sería la, la, la de en medio. Okay. No, no, it's no, here it's no, no, pero es que ahí está hablando de. Sí, sí, esa, esa, esa. Ah, no, perdón. Esta, esta. Which one? No, la tercera, la tercera. Ok, la puede decir. I, I think it's your, yours. Very good, excellent, right? Yes, that is correct. Yo, yours, se, se yes, dice, Yours, yes, that is correct. Whose hat is this? I think it's yours, right? Pienso que es suyo o suya. Very good, excellent. Number five. Um... Ricardo. Are these Peter and Katy Colts? Okay, by un poquito mejoramiento. Are these Peters are, and, and Katy's? Are these Peters and Katy's Colts? Very good. Vamos a ver las opciones. Tan, 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 tan. No, they aren't theirs. Theirs ours. Their ours. Theirs ours. No, no lleva S in there. Their. Excellent. Good job, Ricardo. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> that would be the answer. No, they aren't theirs. Their ours. No, no son de ellos. Son de nosotros, right? Are these Peters and Kathy's coats? ¿Y qué eran coats? Como los. How will you say coats? Abrigo. Abrigos, yes, very good. All right, so I that... have a question, media. I 
I have a question. Okay. Eh, cuando usamos who's, esta WH. Ah, ok, who's, eso w... significa de quién. Pero cuando la usamos. De posesión. Por ejemplo, ah, okay. si yo le pregunto ahorita, ahorita, Nidia, usted anda en carro ahorita, right? Yes. Ok, so yo le puedo decir, si yo quiero decir de quién es el carro, I will use whose. Ok, whose, oh. whose car is it? De quién es el carro. Ok, now, um, si yo quiero... Estoy buscando, cuando yo digo who's, estoy buscando un dueño. Ah. Ok. Por ejemplo, si yo me encuentro algo en la clase, digamos que estuviéramos en clases presenciales, right? Y yo me encuentro un teléfono. Pero yo no sé de quién es. El who y el who's tiene la diferencia. El who pide nomás el nombre de la persona. Who are you? ¿Quién es usted? Pero si yo quiero, de, quiero buscar la, el dueño o la dueña de algo o alguien, entonces yo voy a decir who's, exactamente. Entonces, si yo encuentro el teléfono, digamos que todos estemos en la clase presencial y le doy un receso, right? Y en el receso encuentro un teléfono caído. Yo sé que se cayó porque está en el piso, right? Yo lo levanto. Y yo digo, cuando usted regrese, hey, ¿de quién es este teléfono? I will say, whose, whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? Very good. W-H, subject, oh. eh, verbo to be, y complement. Yes. Okay. Right. Whose, y luego, primero whose, y luego el objeto. The object, que sería el teléfono, is this. Porque estoy, no hay subject, Nidia. Okay. No hay un sujeto, sino que hay un objeto, el teléfono. Porque el subject, yo lo, yo lo ando buscando. ¿Quién? All right. okay. El sujeto, yo lo estoy buscando. Entonces, alguien me puede decir, oh, it's mine. O oh, Nidia, eh, yo, Nidia, right? It's my phone, right? All right. Ok. So, uh, así sería, Nidia. Ok. Thanks. Okay, very good. So remember, who significa de quién, de quién, All right? Who's? Okay, let's see. Next one. Good question, Nidia. Good question, right? Y el who para que alguien tenga una duda el who, no más estamos diciendo quién, okay? Who are you? ¿Quién es usted? Who did you see yesterday? ¿Quién miró ayer usted? Right? Who did you see yesterday? O a quién miró? So, el who y el who's. Ok, next one. Mm, use the present continuous. Aquí el presente continuous. Aquí estamos buscando el ING. ING, right? We're looking for ING. So, the first one he says, Are you wearing jeans? Are you wearing jeans? How would you think about this? Remember, we're doing present continuous, right? Present continuous. So it says, are you wearing jeans? And I'm going to select. Um, voy a seleccionar a. Mm -hmm. Raquel, hello, Raquel. Hey, no sabía que había entrado ahorita. All right. Can you... Are you wearing jeans? No, I'm wearing a suit. No, I, okay. No, I wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. Or no, I am wears a suit. What sería? No, I'm wearing a suit. Very good. Very good. Remember, for present continuous, se necesita el verb to be. Sin el verb to be, no se puede utilizar el presente continuo. All right. Por ejemplo, you cannot say, no, I wearing. Totalmente incorrecta esta. Okay, porque no tiene el verb to be. And then this one, pues obvio, no es verb con ing, right? So, no es present continuous. So, you are correct. No, I'm wearing a suit. Okay, number two. 
um, let me see. Ingrid. Hi, teacher. Can you read number two, please? Is? No, he isn't wearing a tee. Okay, yeah. puede, puede leer la pregunta, por favor. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tee? A tie. tie. A tie. Very mm -hmm. good. And what is the answer? No, he isn't wearing a tie. Okay, very good. All right. No, he isn't wearing a tie, right? Lo negativo. No, he isn't. Very good. Very good, Ingrid. Tatiana, can you do number three, please? Are a uh, three wearing sweaters? Sweaters. Sweaters. Sweater. Y esto Sweater. se pronuncia su. Su. And Sue wearing a sweat, sweat, uh, sweat. Mm -hmm. All right, sweaters, sweater. Sweater. Okay, repeat it, repeat it one more time, Tatiana. R -L and Sue, Sue, wearing, Sue. Sue, Sue, perdón. R -L and Sue wearing sweater. Very good. Um, Sería la de no, they're, they're not, it's very hot. Very good. No, they're not. It's very hot. Very good. Excellent. Number four. Mayensi. Mm. Um, It is raining. Mm, así está ahí. Léalo de nuevo, por favor. Is it raining? Ok. Is it? Is it? Is it? No. Is it? Is it raining? Is it raining? Very good. Perfect. Uh, no. Is it? Raining no. What sería? Repeat it. No, it's raining up. Okay. Mm, okay. Is that correct? No, it is incorrect. Okay, entonces, ¿cuál sería? No, it's not raining, it's snowing. Very good, that is correct. Okay, let me see. Remember, el not, cuando hablamos en negativo, no puede ir no, it's not, no puede ir el not al final, all right? Siempre tiene que ir next to the verb to be and the ing. Siempre tiene que ir antes, okay? No después, okay? <clears throat> el not no, cannot go at the end cuando hablamos de present continuous. All right. Si está el verb to be, I mean, si está el verbo con ing, va antes. Pero si no lo está, entonces sí podemos. No, it's not. But aquí tenemos a verb. So it's this one. No, it's not raining. It's snowing. No, no está lloviendo. Está nevando. It's snowing. Very good. Next part. The last one. Ah, vamos a ver. The time. Tammy. ¿Dónde está Tammy? Ta, 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 ta. Tengo buena memoria. <laughs> okay, Tammy. I remember, um, let me see, right? It was like, hmm, un, varios de ustedes empezaron poniendo más una opción, right? Y después preguntan, teacher, me sale mal, ¿por qué, right? But las instrucciones dicen... Um, what time is it? Y yo les di las dos opciones y e incluso aquí están en las instrucciones. Select the two. Seleccione las dos, hasta en español, las dos posibles respuestas. Yes. Right? So select the two possible answers. Now, 
I gave you a little bit of information about the time. And so what time is it? What time is it here? Vamos a ver si se acuerda. It's 10 to 7. Okay, it's 10 to 7. Okay, it's 10 to 7. Let me see this one. Uh huh. What is the next one? Tell me, some those, right? It's 60. E650. No, no, no. <laughs> it's 650. 50. Okay, 50. 50. 50. 50. That's all, Tammy. <laughs> Very good. 10 para las 7 y las 6.50. Eso me confunde mucho. Okay. <laughs> Pero lo hizo. Very good. You did it. Okay. Number three. <clears throat> Nidia. Nidia, Nidia. You have my sister's name, okay. Nidia. Really? <laughs> yes, that is my sister's name. Okay, let me see. Okay. It's a quarter to nine okay it's a eight. quarter to nine it's eight it's eight forty five very good very good so what time is it it's a quarter un cuarto para las nueve remember that después de este lado utilizamos el two right y ahorita lo vamos a revisar no se preocupen we're going to do just one activity fuera de aquí <clears throat> that deals with time. So it's 8.45 and it's a quarter to nine, right? What about this one? Mm, Adriana. It's 11.05. Okay, it's 11.05. Or, or it's, it's five to one. Okay, this one? Okay. It's, it's, no, 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 no. It's 12, no, okay. It, it's 5 past 11. Ah, vaya, pues son 5 pasadas, right? Recuerden esto, el past, ahí prácticamente le da como la idea pasada, right? So, son 5 pasadas de las 11, right? Esta es, es 5 to 1, 5 para la una, right? But here is five past 11. You are correct, Adriana. Thank you for correcting it, right? It's five past 11. So cinco pasadas las once. Okay, or it's 11 or five. So now it's cinco, okay? Those are basically it. Now, for the clock, I have some more activities. Let me see. Vamos a cerrar esto. Let's close it and let's go to my PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Hey, ¿qué pasó? Okay. Let me see. Okay, can you see the screen? Se tarda para que. ¿La pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, enough. Oh, sure. Yes. Okay, great. All right, so we have here. Um, vale. Para no ir derechito al tiempo. Let's do this. <clears throat> it says, um, can you read the instructions, please? Christian. Yes, teacher. Can you read the, déjeme ponerlo más amplio. All right. Can you read the topic now? Help. Uh, how it work? Now help Joy find Joe. his Joe. things. Joe, find his things. Ask an answer question. Okay, answer. 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 Very answer. good. Remember la W es silencia. Es silencio, right? So you say answer. No es answer. Okay, answer 
questions. Y va ese, questions. All right. Read the vocabulary, Christian. Voy a leer el vocabulario, please. Briefcase. 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 Cell phone. Newspaper. Umbrella. Camera. Glasses. Notebook. Wallet. Very good. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Jenny Palencia. Hi, Jenny. Can you ask Hi, a question, teacher. please? Hello. Can you ask the question, where? Where is his briefcase? Okay. And answer? Is it it's, on the table? It's, it's, it's on the table. Okay. Pronunciamos la S, Jenny. It's. 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 All right. Very it's good. on the table. Very good, very good. Very good, it's on the table, right? So I install a briefcase. Let me put my, my icon here. This is the briefcase. This is the briefcase. Esto es una briefcase, okay? Now, um, let me see. Where is the umbrella, Raquel? Where is the umbrella? Raquel? Okay. La respuesta, let me see. Mm, Danubia. Where is the, the umbrella? Mm -hmm. The umbrella is behind of sofa. Mm. Ok, cerca. Hay una palabra ahí que no, ne, no, no es necesario incluirla. Vamos a ver. What do you think it is, Danubia? ¿Cuál palabra cree que es la que no va con lo que dijo? <coughs> eh, oh. Very good. Omitámosla. No. Omitámosla. Yes. The, umbre the umbrella, the umbrella behind. The sofa. Mm. Oh, the umbrella behind the sofa. Mm, ahora quitó una que no debió. All right. The umbrella. The umbrella is behind ah, yes. the sofa. Behind the sofa. <laughs> yes, behind the sofa. Okay, repeat it, Danubia. The, the umbrella. The umbrella is behind the sofa. Very good. The sofa. Sofa. Okay. The sofa. Excellent. That's es escribe igual en español y inglés, just the pronunciation. Okay. Sofa en español y sofa okay. in English. Good job, Danubia. Perfect. Good job. Next one. Carolina, where is the newspaper? The newspaper is on the table. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Tatiana, where is the um where's the wallet? The wallet the wallet is um under the sofa. 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 Very sofa. good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. The sofa. All right. Let me see. <clears throat> um, where, where are the glasses, uh, Adriana? It's 
Okay. Mm -hmm. On the DVD player. Very good. But is that correct? Está correcto? Repeat it again, Adriana. Where, where are the glasses? It uh, it uh, yes, it's on the. Mm -hmm. Okay. DVD player. Okay. Okay. Cerca. ¿Qué es lo que alguien le puede decir a Adriana? ¿Cuál sería el error? Where are the glasses? ¿Cuál fue el error ahí? Vamos a ver si alguien nos... R. Ah, el R, sí, yes. Que glasses es plural. Right? Glasses, como cuando son en pares, son dos. Right? ¿Dónde están los anteojos? Ok. No podemos decir eh, el anteojos está, ¿verdad? Los. Entonces, how do we say plural? El ar. Ajá. Entonces, how will Yo we? Ok, todo lo demás está bien, pero let's make it plural. How will we say it? Where are the glasses? Ajá, uh -huh. class. Empezaríamos con it. Ricardo. <laughs> Empezaríamos con it. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Todo quiet. Hey, yo pienso que te, ya terminó la like, clase. Que, uh, <laughs> It's our. It oh, our. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Are on the. Okay. It on. No. The glasses. No. Okay. Where are the glasses? The glasses are on the DVD player. Okay. Very good. Very good. The glasses are on the DVD player. Pero si yo quiero quitar la palabra. The, the glasses. glasses. Y nomás derme en el. Como está aquí, sin decir el objeto. Decirme, están, right? It's on the no, no, no. DVD player. No, no, no. Start on the DVD. Uh -huh. They're uh, on the DVD player. Ah, very good. Um, oh, no. Tell me. They're on DVD player. Very good. They're on the DVD player. Very good. Excellent. Recuerden, si es plural, utilicemos el there. Ah, ya Carolina, ya la mire que reaccionó, reaccionó, right? There on the TV. Ah, ya, ¿verdad? Yes, ya se acordaron. Uh, yes. Y luego, singular, it's. Si fuera singular, right? It's on the tenemos que usarlo con la contracción, teacher. No, you can do it without, ok, la contracción. Yeah. Uh, right. es que yo, sí dije. yo right. pensé que era solo para personas, por eso también no lo decía. No, all right. Es que Ricardo, usted utilizó el R, pero utilizó el it's. All right. Ajá, yes. Entonces no puede ir mezclado. Es que al principio, como le escuché, utilicen el it, o que yo no le escuché bien. <laughs> all right. So, Ajá, el, yeah. el they okay. are significa they are, right? They, they yes. are, all right? They are, let's look at there, okay? Remember, you can use it for things or animals in plural, Carolina. Uh -uh. In plural, el they are, por, por decir, um, where are the lions? ¿Dónde están los leones? Plural. There, hey. very good, okay? También para animales. They're También. outside. Están allá, están allá afuera, puede decir alguien, right? Outside. Ya cuando salgo. Right? Ya cuando salga uno ya están listos, right? <laughs> They're outside, right? They're outside. Y si fuera un león, ¿cómo lo voy a preguntar? ¿Dónde está el león? Where is the lion? Very... Mm, cerca. Where is the lion? Very good. Yes, yeah, singular. 
Where yes. is the lion? Y luego, ¿cómo lo vamos a decir? Si es singular. Si está afuera. It is outside. Very good. It is or it's, si vamos a usar la contraction. It's, it's outside. Está afuera. Ok. It is or it's outside. Ok. okay. O, ya, ya. o sea que el, el there igual lo podemos ocupar para animals. Or... Yes. Cuando es plural. Ok. Only for plural. Ok. okay. When it's singular se utiliza el it. Ok. Yes, yes. yes. Ok. Great. Great. Excellent. All right. Let's see. Let's do, cambiemos ya de esto, vámonos para el clock. Ay, ¿por qué lo quité? Está mi PowerPoint. All right. So remember, um, acuérdense de esto. Cuando está después de 30, es <coughs> to, and right before is pass. Pasada de, y esto a la, right? 15 para las. Para las, and this one pasada de. Now, let's look at the first one. What time is it here? Voy a llamar a alguien. Um, tan, 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 tan. Ingrid. Hi, teacher. Hi. What time is it? Recuerden cómo iniciamos cuando decimos la, a la hora, right? Pero se acuerden. Okay, Ingrid, what time okay. is? It's 12 o'clock. Perfecto. Perfecto. Good job, Ingrid. It's 12 o'clock. Okay. Very good. Um, very good. Now, pueden ver otros términos. No siempre va a ser o'clock. Okay. Pueden ver este término también. Digamos que la reunión es a las 12. Right? And someone tells you, mira, la reunión, the meeting is at 12. 12 o'clock. 12. 12. A clock sharp. Pueden ver este término también, sharp. Ok, cuando alguien le dice sharp. Sharp significa algo filu, filudo, right? Sharp está right? como algo que, que le da un punzón, right? Y la like, hey, right? Algo que tiene puntilla bien filudo, sharp. But when we talk about time, es muy probable que ustedes, si en algún momento se encuentran con alguien eh, que venga de Estados Unidos o oh, vayan ustedes, pueden ver este término, sharp. Pero no están hablando de algo filudo o algo puntudo, right? We're talking about, cuando alguien le dice, the meeting, que está en una reunión y quieren ser enfáticos. En vez de decir 12 o'clock, le agregan un énfasis que diga 12 o'clock sharp. Or 12 sharp. Significa en punto. No hora salvadoreña. En punto, right? En punto. Remember that. Si algún momento ustedes van a una cita o a una reunión, no se atengan a que aquí así es. No. Allá a la hora exacta, a esa hora empieza. Right? No es, y cuidadito es a, 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 a visitar cultura asiática. Si usted llega justo un minuto tarde, ya llegó tarde. O si I'm llega sorry. justo la hora, ya llegó tarde. All right? Remember that. Lo toman bien en serio. Right? Si usted va a, un, a algún, algún cumpleaños, right? Dice a las siete, pero uno ya sabe que no son las siete aquí, right? Son siete y media, right? Va llegando la gente, right? Allá usted llega a las siete y media, ya casi termina, a media van, right? Llegó terminando la fiesta usted, right? O, o uno aquí en El Salvador. So when they put this emphasis, sharp es exactamente a esa hora o antes, right? So remember that. Ok, nomás le estoy agregando aquí otra palabra 
por si la ven en el futuro. All right, let's continue. Um, let me see. Um, Nidia. Nidia, Nidia. The next one, please. Hi. It's 12.05. Okay, or? It's five past 12. Very good, excellent, excellent, good job. It's 12.05 or it's five past 12. Okay, Adriana, next one. It's, it's 12.15 okay. or, or quarter past 12. Okay, very good. Quarter it's, past it's, it's, right? Yes, very good, very good, very good. ¿Qué más podemos decir? Son las dos, pero ¿qué más podemos decir? Dijimos 12.15, a quarter past 12. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra posibilidad hay para decir ese tiempo? It's 15 past 12. <laughs> yes. Very good, very good. Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good, Daniela. Son 15 pasadas las 12, un cuarto pasada en las 12 o las 12, 15. Teacher. Yes. Eh, estudiando encontré otra otra forma, pero no sé si es que ya está pasada de moda. No, no sé, ¿verdad? porque no, nunca la había escuchado. ¿Verdad? Y, bueno, por ejemplo, en ese caso que son las 12 y 15, eh, sería esa quarter after, after 12. También. También. Sí. Yes. Pero After. no es muy usado. O, o, mm, o sí. sí se puede usar. Eh, sí se usa todavía, Ricardo. Okay. Digo, pues, si, no, si nos dicen algo y nosotros nos quedamos. Ahí yeah, también after, ¿ok? Uh -huh. You can use after also. Okay? Okay. After significa después. Ok. okay? Aunque es Sí se usa, ¿ok? No voy a decir que no. Sí se usa, ¿ok? They still use it, ¿all right? Eh, son 15 pasadas de las 12, ¿all right? Después de las 12, quiero decir. Son 15 después de las 12, ¿right? Aunque se ve raro en español, ¿right? Son 15 después de las 15. Sí. Son 15 después de las 12, ¿right? No But, es muy usado tampoco. Yeah, so... Eh, you can still use after two, Ricardo. Yes. Ok. Ok. There's no problem if you use. Ok, es que lo encontré, ¿va? Y dije yo... Yes. Por It's still used. It's still used. Okay. Thank All you. All right. No problem. Um, next one. Next one. Um, let me see. Um, Christian. Yes, teacher. In qual? In qual? Disculpe, teacher. Okay. Ah. This one right here. Ah, okay. It is twelve. 12, 13. Hmm. 12, 13. 30. All right, very 30. good. 30, 30. 30. That's all. It's... No me recuerdo cómo era, 12 y media. Una y, eh, 12 y media. It's... Lo acabas de decir, 12 y media, 12, 30. No, pero... No dije 12 y 30, pues. Ajá, 12.30. Pero 12 y media. Ok, ¿cómo decimos la media? Hall pass. Ah, very good, very good, very good. All right, aquí está en la pantalla, Christian, right here. Ah, sí. Ahí está, a ver, en el, me los coloqué a la par. All right. Ok, ok. Dale, Christian. It's 12 half past. Mm. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien le puede ayudar a Christian a decir la hora con half? It's half yeah. past 12. Ah, very good, very good. Yeah, all right. Repeat half it. Half past 12. Yes, it's half past 12. Very good. Very good job, Christian. Good, good correction. Okay, Danubia. 
it quarter to one? Mm -hmm. Or no, repeat it, it please. It's quarter to one. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué le hace falta ahí cuando le dije que eran cuando It's somos... a quarter to ah, one. Ah, very good. Yes. All right, good recollection. Eso me llega que rápido se corrigen. Very good. Tanubia, continue. Repeat. ¿Cómo te echas, perdón? ¿Y lo puede repetir? Can you repeat it, please? It's a quarter to It's a quarter to one. Very good. Or is 12:45. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Very good, excellent. And the last one, let me see. Tammy. Where did you Tammy? Aha, la última, Tammy. Yes, sir. Um, five. It's, no, perdón. It's? It's five to three. Okay. It's three. Two fifty-five. Son tres para las cincuenta y cinco. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Is is um it's fifty-five. Son las cincuenta y cinco. Ajá. No, 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 no lo estoy diciendo. It's 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 two it's <laughs> it's three? No. See, it's three? Son las tres. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's three. Fifty-five. Son las tres cincuenta y cinco aquí. Sí? No. Mm, ve al reloj. No, no. No, no, no. Two, two, fifty-five. Uh, yes, very good, right? It's two fifty-five. Two fifty-five. Okay. All right? <laughs> two fifty-five. Right. Okay, very good. Very good. 255 or 5 to 3, right? 5 to 3. All right, very good. Very good. And what time is it right now? ¿Qué hora son ahorita? It's 12, it's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, right? It's yes. 2 o'clock, right? So we are finished. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, right? So. Ya, ya no será usted nuestro próximo maestro. Um, fíjese que eh, ya la área administrativa no nos dice, y así voy a ser sincero con usted, qué, qué grupo nos toca, right? Como somos, hay bastantes grupos y hay diferentes docentes y ahí cae como ellos lo administren, right? Pero I hope to see you in the future, ¿ok? Espero verlos eh, y verlas en el futuro, right? Eh, ya sea yo o, o quizás les, les puedo tocar en otro módulo después, right? Eso no lo determino yo, lo determina eh, el área administrativa, ¿ok? But sería un honor volverlos a ver y en el futuro, ya sea, si no puede ser la otra, pues quizás en otro módulo, pero no porque yo no esté con ustedes, esté con alguien más, eso no significa que ustedes paren, ¿ok? Ustedes sigan, porque puede haber posibilidad que en el futuro lo vuelva a ver, alright So, you continue, no, no, ¿ok? Continue, 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 right If you ever have any questions in the future, con gusto también les puedo ayudar, ¿ok? Ya tienen mi número y todo. So, it was a pleasure, fue un honor tenerlos y tenerlas a ustedes como estudiantes para que sigan en el progreso del idioma inglés. Ok, felicidades Thank a todos. Thank you, Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, teacher. Ok, it's you a too. pleasure to be here. All right. All right. Thank no you problem. for all. You are a great teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. You are gracias. great. Gracias. Gracias por. Gracias mm -hmm. por. Thank ayudar. you very much, teacher. Ok, no problem. Right. Fue un gusto y un honor. It was an honor. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good luck and everything. Enjoy the day off. Like I administración. see the future. future. All right. Hopefully, right? I hope so, right? Remember, administration will contact you to give you the date, specific date, 
of the next module. Okay? Un día específico para que inicien el siguiente módulo. Okay? So, good luck, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take Adiós care. A todos. Take care. All right. Cuídense. Cuídense. Adiós. Un gusto a todos. Okay. Bye-bye.